today we are reviewing actual vodka soda and vodka lime and soda. <laughs> I don't know if I'm excited for these, to be honest. I think a lot of you already have seen these ones because these are in the bottle shops everywhere. They are available in a lot of different places, but do they actually taste any good? Well, I've seen these ones and I've seen the vodka and, yep. and I can't tell the difference between what these two products are. I think they're both just a pre-mix vodka, lime and soda. I don't really love, I don't think anybody, I'm gonna be honest, and I think people are lying. <laughs> I don't think anybody loves vodka soda plain. Someone who really doesn't want any calories? I think people definitely drink it when you're out because it's like a healthier alternative, but I don't think anyone's like, ooh, delish. Mmm, vodka. <laughs> No one is doing that and I can almost guarantee it. So we're gonna give these a go. I'm going in, I am gonna try and go in with an open mind. True. I hope so. The cans are pretty cool, I will say that. We have something exciting coming that will solve all of your oh. skinny, <laughs> your skinny seltzer can cold hand problem. Stay tuned for the next couple of weeks. These ones are 300 ml for one standard drink and it is $19.50 for a four pack of them. This one, the blue is 65 cals and then the green, which has a bit of lime in it, is 69 cals. Both of them have basically like zero sugar. So the blue is zero sugar and then this one's only 0 0.3 grams of sugar. So what do you want to try first? I think the lime one first. Have a little bit of flavor and then we'll end with the basic nothing. I think also for these ones, the PPD is about $5-ish. A bit less than $5 price per drink we love that but very bubbly i don't mind that to be honest it's not as like you know when you go to the pub and you get like oh not the pub when you go out at night and you get like a vodka and soda and it's like shitty vodka <laughs> a piece of lime you know, when it's like, they put like the tiniest square of this lime square. in and you've got no flavor of lime. That's quite limey. Yeah, that is quite limey. I think it is what it is. It is vodka and lime. You get that. I don't think it's anything special though. It's just, it's nothing no. special, nothing different. Just and of... this is owned by CUB. It's good. It's fresh. It's nice. Again, it is what it is. Don't want to take a bottle of vodka to the park. These are good for you, but... But for $5, I don't know if it's worth $5 when you could just literally go get a lime, vodka, and a bottle of soda. Totally. Agree. Okay. okay. I think there's better options out there, but let's try the no flavor. Oh, wow. That was a pop. Pop, drop, and roll. I don't know why I'm pouring so much. These glasses are like very deceptive. You think you're getting a dash and then the it's bottom. It's a fishbowl. They're only one standard drink, so it's fine. So this Cheers. one's no flavor, nothing. Just vodka and soda. Just vodka and soda. Vodka seltzer, sparkling water and vodka. Ooh, that tastes like, ugh. I don't, it tastes like soda water and I hate soda water on a good day. It tastes like when you're at the bottom of the barrel at like kick-ons and you've got no <laughs> drinks left. No mixes. And someone's like, oh, I've got this and this, and it's just literally water and vodka. I do not rate at all. I just don't think you want to be drinking that all day in the park. It's just boring. It's got no flavor. It's got no taste. It's got nothing. But there is like that awkward vodka aftertaste. Do you reckon? It's gross. It's <laughs> gross. It's gross. You can hardly get it down. <laughs> I think they've been on the market for a long time, so I'm sure some of you have tried them. I think if you had tried these and you haven't tried anything else, yeah. you'd probably be like, yum, that's like refreshing. But in comparison to all the other phenomenal brands we've tried endless options on the market at the moment, I'm never lean towards something that's plain flavor. I think the packaging, they haven't went all out. They haven't done anything. I don't mind it. This is very chic. I don't mind the packaging. At least it tells you at the top here how many, you're getting 34 mils of vodka, sparkling water, 16 mils of lime juice, 0.2 of natural lime flavor. Like they literally list the ingredients on the yeah. front, which is quite nice. Very honest, transparent. That's really good. And my hands are a bit cold, Tia. Oh, I wonder what we'll have to do about that. Ugh, kind of Leave cold. it with me. 
Honestly, I personally wouldn't buy these ones just because I like to go for something a little bit different. Same here, but I also think these are a very big brand. Whereas you can support locals, you can go down to your boutique bottle shop and support the local guys and the smaller businesses and get way better flavors, calories, all that kind of stuff. You can get a lot better for the same bang for your buck. I think the big brands need to be careful because they're not as good as a lot of the smaller hmm. independent brands we have tried, like your Coast, <laughs> Arc, Fizza by Moondog, which we are trying soon. Also, there's a new one from New Zealand called Pals. Stay tuned for all of our exciting things to come. You're not gonna have cold hands anymore. <laughs> Subscribe, like, share, and also let us know. Have you tried these? What did you think? Did you like them? Anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Bye.